Tesla just dropped a $12,749 EV with butterfly doors that opens easier than your Camry. New cars average $49,000. Insurance jumped 29% in two years. And that Honda you bought for $26,000 is now worth $15,000 while burning $8,400 in gas and repairs. So how did Tesla cut costs by 70% while keeping everyone safe. They made seven massive compromises, and three could cost you $12,000 in repairs by year three. Is this the financial breakthrough millions have waited for, or Tesla's riskiest gamble yet? Let's dive right in. Here's what doesn't make sense. A $12,749 car with 53 kilowatt hours delivers 300 miles when the Model 3 needs 60 kilowatt hours for the same range. Tesla shaved 620 pounds through Giga casting, switched to aluminum ion cells that are 18% lighter, and pushed aerodynamics to a 0.19 drag coefficient versus Model 3's 0.23. That's a 12% energy consumption cut. The thermal system learns your patterns. Leave at 7.15 a.m. when it's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. And the car starts warming at 6.50 a.m. using stored energy, adding 8 to 12 miles on cold mornings. But here's the catch. Those 300-mile EPA numbers drop to 210 miles in Minnesota winter at 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that a deal-breaker or just EV reality? This is the first mass production of aluminum ion cells from KTL's Nevada facility. Lab testing shows 20,000 charge cycles, potentially 600,000 miles before hitting 90% capacity. But we won't have real-world validation until 2033. Tesla's warranty covers 8 years, or 120,000 miles. Planning to drive this 250,000 miles? Over 15 years? You're beta testing unproven technology. Urban parking garages have 8-foot spaces with 6.5-foot SUVs next to you. Conventional doors need 18 to 24 inches clearance. Butterfly doors need 11 inches. Tesla studied 847 subjects aged 58 to 74 and found conventional doors require 35 to 40 degrees torso twist while lifting your leg over the sill. Butterfly doors reduce rotation to 12 to 15 degrees. But here's what matters. Model X Falcon wings cost $2,800 to $4,500 to fix with 12 motors and 6 sensors per door. Model 2 uses a single mechanical hinge with gas struts. No motors, no sensors. Strut replacement takes 20 minutes and costs $120 versus $3,200 for Model X. Can something this simple actually work better than Tesla's most complex door system? Tesla ran 100,000 cycles from minus 15 degrees Fahrenheit to 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Hinges are 316 stainless steel rated 15 years. This isn't innovation for spectacle. It's solving a real problem millions face daily. Base Model 2 at $12,749 is rear-wheel drive. Long range with 350 miles adds $2,400. Dual motor adds another $3,200. Most will spend $15,000 to $18,000. Compare that to a Honda Civic at $27,500. At $4.50 gas, 35 miles per gallon means $1,540 yearly fuel plus $450 maintenance. That's $9,950 over five years. Depreciation to $16,000 means $11,500 loss. Total cost, 
$450. Model 2, long range costs $15,149. Electricity at 28 cents per kilowatt hour equals $520 yearly. Maintenance is $145 annually or $725 over five years. Depreciation to $10,000 means $5,149 loss. Total, $5,874. The difference, $15,576 in your pocket over five years. EVs cost 12 to 18% less to insure. Expect $1,150 to $1,230 for Model 2 versus $1,400 for Civic. Another $850 saved. Total savings, $16,426 over 5 years. $30,000 to $35,000 over 10 years. Are you starting to see why Tesla's betting everything on this price point? No panoramic glass roof. Steel costs $180 versus $850 for glass and gives 22% better insulation, extending range 2 to 4%. No LED light bar, no power lumbar support, no heated steering wheel unless you opt for the $1,200 cold weather package. Seats use 6-way manual adjustment instead of 12-way power. Single pane windows hit 70 to 72 decibels at 70 miles per hour versus Model Y's 65 decibels. Similar to Honda Accord, just not luxury silent. Tesla cut aesthetics and comfort, but left safety, drivetrain, and durability intact. Here's my take. Tesla made the right cuts. Nobody's buying a $12,749 car for heated steering wheels. They're buying it because gas is $4.50, and their Honda just needed a $2,800 transmission rebuild. The question isn't whether these compromises hurt. It's whether they hurt enough to justify spending $12,000 more. Front and rear are single aluminum pieces replacing 70-plus parts. Tesla's 9,000-ton press produces complete casting in 90 seconds versus 4 to 6 hours traditional stamping. This is how Tesla plans to build 500,000 units annually. But with Giga casting, if impact cracks the aluminum, you can't patch it. Aluminum loses 60% structural integrity once cracked. The entire front or rear module must be replaced. $3,200 to $4,100 for parts plus $1,800 to $2,400 labor. Total, $5,000 to $6,500. Insurance carriers raised premiums 8 to 14% for Teslas because of this. Low speed impacts under 12 miles per hour only damage bolt on modules costing $280 to $420. Above 18 to 20 miles per hour, costs explode. The car is safer to drive because the rigid structure performs better in crash tests. You're more likely to walk away uninjured, but repair bills after accidents are higher. Is this compromise worth $15,000 in savings over five years? That depends on whether you crash. Home Level 2 Charger costs $600 to $1,200, gives 25 miles per hour. Supercharging 10 to 80% takes 22 minutes costs $12 to $16. Here's something most reviews ignore. Charging behavior fundamentally changes how you think about refueling. With gas cars, you wait until the tank is nearly empty. With EVs, you plug in whenever parked at home, even if the battery is at 60%. After two weeks, this becomes automatic. Most Model 2 owners will never see battery below 30% because they're adding 150 to 200 miles nightly while they sleep. Can something this simple really eliminate range anxiety? 
For 90% of drivers, yes. Wait if you live in extreme climates needing maximum range, uncomfortable with first-generation tech, need a larger vehicle, or can't charge at home. Reserve if you want the lowest-cost EV, have home charging, drive under 200 miles daily, are comfortable with touchscreens, or want 5- to 7-year ownership. If you're planning 5- to 8 years, Model 2 saves $15,000 to $25,000 versus gas. Planning 15-plus years? Warranty runs 8 years or 120,000 miles. After that, battery replacement costs $7,500 to $9,200. Model 2 may not be the best Tesla ever built, not the fastest, not the most luxurious, but it could be the most important because it's the first costing less than the average American car while delivering better ownership experience. The real question, is Tesla solving a transportation crisis or creating a new one with compromises that won't reveal themselves until 2030? So here's exactly why Tesla made these seven compromises. They weren't building the perfect EV. They were building the affordable one that breaks the $50,000 barrier keeping 180 million Americans in gas cars. The butterfly doors, aluminum ion batteries, giga casting, these aren't gimmicks. They're Tesla betting that millions care more about saving $30,000 over 10 years than having a glass roof. And that $6,500 repair risk? It's the price of manufacturing speed that brings costs down 70%. This is just the beginning. By 2027, we'll see if those Kia TL batteries deliver 600,000 miles or fail at 150,000. We'll know if butterfly doors hold up or become the next falcon wing nightmare. And we'll watch every major automaker scramble to hit $15,000 or get left behind. What do you think? Does this force Ford, GM, and Volkswagen to abandon $45,000 EVs and race to the bottom? Or will quality issues destroy Tesla's reputation before 2030? This is tech revolution, and we break down the tech gambles reshaping transportation. If you want the real analysis behind every EV launch, every battery breakthrough, and every manufacturing pivot, you know where to find us. March 31st, 2026 isn't just a launch date. It's the day affordable EVs either save the industry or expose how far we've pushed compromises. Either way, 300,000 people will find out first. <laughs>